Hey guys, well, it's quarter past 11. It just took me out an hour and a quarter to get home from work. On the way home, Sonny from Sonny's Fishing Adventures rings me and says, Be at Coochie Mundlo ramp at sunrise. So I've just had to come home. I've got to load the stuff onto the ute and be out on oh, Vicky Point or somewhere at sunrise. Well, I got the priority straight, so we got a drink and then we'll load. I'll go and get some shut eye for a couple of hours and then we'll. Apparently we're going to paddle around Coochie Mudlow. What does he think I am? 21 or something? Well, we'll see how I go. Alright guys, see you in the morning. Well guys, I'm down here at Vicky Point. Beautiful morning. Waiting for sunny again. How unusual. He just sent me a pit. Apparently he had to call in to Maccas. Hopefully the bastard gets me something. Two really nice ramps down here. Where I'm going to park the car, I have no idea. Because it's all trailer parking or the normal car parks. Uh, two hours. So... I'll wait for Sonny, hopefully he will know. So, uh, I've just unloaded. I've just unloaded the yak. So we'll just wait for Sonny. Alright guys, old Sunny finally arrived. Instead of being here at six, we on the water. Oh, I think it's about five past seven at the moment. Sunny's still mucking around with his drone, so I'm not exactly sure what the plan is. I think he said we're going to paddle around Coochie, but we'll wait and see. Is, there is no car parking close to the ramp um, because the barge comes down here as well so a lot of the car parking is taken up by the um, people on the barges and the street parking is only two or four hours so hopefully they don't come around today giving tickets because if, if they do I'll probably get one this is I don't think I'll come back down here again until I get get a trailer plenty of trailer car parks but yeah just if you're rooftoping it like I do in the ute there's no parking for the day that you can stay at so we'll see what happens no sunny's still mucking around uh, i'll hang around and wait for him uh, well we didn't get far we, we got as, as far as directly across from the ramp to coochie halfway across and my mirage drive went all stupid so just had to pull up and do some running repairs. Yeah. Uh, lots of weed out here. I had to swap one lure because it just dived too deep. Within 10 seconds it was covered in weed. So it's a beautiful day. 
Is there anywhere else in the world you'd rather be? I'm already, I've already told me boss yesterday, don't bother ringing me. <sighs> Back to work tomorrow. Well, we're just going, I'm just trolling along the edge of Coochie. And that's pretty disconcerting when you're just slowly trolling and you, all you hear is banjos and you look over to your left and there's an old guy with a ZZ Top beard pl playing a, uh, the Deliverance theme song on a banjo. Tell you what, I nearly started walking on water. Look, still no, no fish, Sonny's caught a whiting that was smaller than his lure. I'm trolling um, the Savage Gear 3D shrimp. I just had to swap rods because the other lure was diving too deep but it looks pretty deep here now so I might swap back in a minute. Oh no, beautiful morning. Like you couldn't ask for a better day to be out kayaking really. The only thing we need now is the fish to play the game. Jeez, I don't know if you, you guys can see this, but gee, there's a swimmer just there. Looks like they're used to swimming long distances, but I don't know if I'd be like to be swimming out here. Yeah, oh, good on her. I don't think she's young either. She's fitter than me, that's for sure. So, there doesn't seem to be much flow at the moment. As I say, no run, no fun. So I've just put a little echo, I think it's an echo gear. No, well it's not an echo gear, but it, it's uh, all blue. Exactly the same, I think. Crazy shrimp. I think I got this from another lure from Brad Smith, fishing charters. Thanks, Clint. So I'm just bouncing that up and down just to see if I can get an interest while uh, we're waiting for the tide to fully turn. Because I don't seem to be moving from this spot. I think I could quite easily live on Coochie. I think if I lived there, I don't think I'd, be, I'd leave the island, that's for sure. Well, Sonny's just spotted a fishing rod in the water. So now he, yeah, but because he's such a tight ass, he's, trying to fish it out I don't know why he just doesn't jump in it's not that sh that deep yeah but it could have a vanquish on it and mind you if, if I had a vanquish on a rod and it went overboard I'd dive in for it Pink lure, that sounds like my rod. Got 
No, oh, he's, he's, he's got it. Can he bring it up? Looks like it's been there for a while, though. Still low on that, I told you. <laughs> That's falling off the back of a boat because it's all hooked up for travel. Score! Ah, oh, feels smooth. Well, maybe it hasn't been there. Too long. What are the hooks on the reel like? On the lure? Not that bad. Yeah, so it probably hasn't been there that long. What does this guy pull catch the fish? Flatty. Should have before that, I might be too to cut up. Very <laughs> good for YouTube. Look what I found. Well, Sonny's come up with the bright idea that we that we should paddle out the Peel Island. Um, I swear he's trying to kill me. So we've got an outgoing tide. Uh, tide starts coming in around 2 p.m. apparently. We haven't caught much decent fish today. Sonny's caught an undersized flatty, I've caught an undersized squire. Um, I think Sonny caught a flounder. And a shitload of pike he's caught. So we'll just see how we go. Well, on the way up towards Peel, someone's hit the Cracker Jack. Not massive. That's if it's even still there. Oh, <laughs> a snap! Really? Yep. Bloody huge. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of this thing, will you? For little fish, geez, they go hard. Thing, will you? He's all the lure was almost as big as him. But geez, for a little fish, geez, he, he went hard. Thought he might have been a little bit bigger. There you go, buddy. Cracker Jack's on again. This has got some go to it too. It's a bit hard to tell if this is a squire, how big it is. It's got some go, but it's not massive. Here we go. No, definitely not massive. That's a nice little squire. I think he's 35, but I was just measuring it in the net, so I can't be 100% certain, so we'll let him go. See ya, buddy. Someone's just grabbed it, but I don't know if I've still got it. I don't think I have. No. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
squid maybe? Nah, I don't think it was a pike. Yeah, someone's just grabbed the crack cracker jack. Mm. Yeah, ran but spat I spat the lure of the bass. This looks very shallow up here. Hopefully we'll be able to get through. I think Sonny's just caught what I just dropped. Whatever. Oh, I'm on too. Uh, I've got Sonny's pike. Dirty, rotten things. Well, he lures out. Hopefully, he doesn't bloody bite me on the way through. I am not picking him up, him up to get a photo. He can go to buggery. Well, that was a little bit of excitement. Sonny got smacked by some pulling a lot of string. So I was pulling in my lure to get it out of his way when the pike hit mine on the way through. And Sonny, whatever it was, bit Sonny off. Going through a massive weed bed here at the moment. So, I don't know if this is weed on here or another pike. I think it might just be weed. Yeah. Massive weed bed here. It's only very shallow. So we're just heading back. Uh, so Sonny's got to go to work at oh, four o'clock or something, so well, it's now midday, so we're just going to slowly make our way back and mm, see how we go. I don't know who got the bigger fright then. Paddle, paddling along, and a turtle stuck its head up right beside the yak. Nearly, nearly jumped six feet in the air. I don't know, it didn't look too impressed that it saw me either. Well, nearly back at the ramp, I have no idea where Sonny is. I think he's still chasing Pike. Uh, the breeze has picked up a bit, but nothing too bad. Unfortunately, I'm going against the outgoing tide, but I've got the breeze at me back, so it's helping a little bit. I'm just at the top end of Coochie. Uh, hasn't been too bad of a day fish-wise. I think Sonny's caught about 10 pike, one small flathead. I'm not sure what else he's caught. I've caught four or five little squire and one dirty pike well 
while we were out here this morning, I ended up buying a trailer, a Carlex trailer. I've heard good reports about, about them, but I've never used one or seen one myself. Uh, hopefully it will save me lifting the kayak onto the roof of the ute. Unfortunately, it's a flat part plug and on my ute's a round plug. So I'll see if I can go and buy a converter. Like I have no idea where Sonny is. He was right behind me at one stage. So if I can pick up the trailer this afternoon, I might even try to go out again on Sunday. I don't know the way my legs feel at the moment. Because I think we've done 10 to 12k. Didn't make it all the way to Peel, but we weren't that far from it. So, just goes to show how calm it was out here today. Because normally, if there's any bit of breeze through here, I wouldn't even attempt it. There's, there's nowhere to hide. You're open to the elements. Mm. Oh, just got back to the ramp now. I've got to walk miles to the car. One good thing, the car's still there. I can see it. Hopefully, there's no ticket on it. Because there's only four hour parking here. Unless you've got a trailer. Which is a bit shitty. Oh, no ticket on the windscreen. All's good with the world. So something's just got back. Uh, we went from the ramp around Coochie, almost out to Peel and back, 13.14 kilometers. My legs are killing me, I think I've done a hammy. So this is Sonny's beast. Good kayak, but geez, it's heavy. So I'm just waiting for Sonny to bring his trailer down the wind's just starting to pick up so we've probably got off just at the right time I'll have to get Sonny to teach me how to reverse a trailer called into the Victoria Victoria Point kiosk opposite the ramp they do good fish and chips here boys so calamari prawn cutlets and chips can't beat it <laughs> 